sorry uh, today we will look into one approach that is what uh, we publish a report related data template approach for report publishing so in order to develop this report we will be having few steps the first step is the first step is uh, create a data template create a data template and save it as dot xml so let us create data template xml file so we are going to create so, uh, so I am moving into documents so we already have file with us take this file take this file mm, I'm taking this file I'm just copying this file with the dot XML extension I'm taking xx underscore gin3 dot xml it is an xml file so we are saving it as an xml so now we have data template so data template having the various parts data template and properties and parameters and data query and data structure so in parameters uh, we are taking the uh, dpt number as a parameter it's our runtime it will ask the value of this dpt number for that we are taking this parameter and uh, we are writing the query so we are taking the four columns in this and also we are taking this parameter further in this uh, group g underscore emp we, we have taken these four uh, column names and we are taking the data template name as this one we can take any name also we can take gan3 this is also we can take so this is the implied detail report description whatever it may be we can take it so save this so now the next step is we have created data template and I save it as an xml the third step is third step is upload upload this data template data template in xml publisher responsibility responsibility okay now. so i am moving into the xml public administrator responsibility xml administrator responsibility for that I am logging in wait some time it will take some more time to come here we have to type xml xml publisher administrator so in this go to data definitions so in this data definition choose create data definition here enter enter a data definition name whatever you want whatever you want but it should be meaningful I'm taking gan3 underscore dd okay now so now the responsibility where I am working in purchase the code the code I am taking xx underscore gn3 okay, no? so this will be matched with the concurrent program short name okay? so further we are creating a concurrent program short name for the, that's why we are giving the code xx gn3 just copy this apply it so once apply it will enable data template so in this add the file where I am here is the file you have to add click on apply now finish our responsibility so the next step is next step is go to system administrator responsibility 
system administration. In system administration, create a concurrent program. So in this, we need we no need executable. We are taking the predefined executable name. Predefined executable. Name. So we are giving concurrent program and short name. The concurrent program short name should be matched with that. If I publish a administrative responsibility data definition code, okay, no? So the purchasing and here is the predefined executable name we have to do. Executed Excel and output format should be XML. And we have to define the parameter as well. I'm taking some parameter. Uh, the parameter is p p underscore d p t number. Okay. So the value set, the predefined value set, I'm taking. So prompt from the runtime, it will ask the prompt that. Uh, whatever you can give but it is be understandable and doing DEPT number so the P underscore DEPT number is a parameter that is a token here so save this the transaction is saved applied and saved so now attach this concurrent program to the request group so where we can see the request group security responsibility and a request so here I am taking the predefined request group which is attached to purchasing responsibility. So I am taking this request group. I am attaching it to the request group by clicking this add button. So now is the concrete program name I am attaching. Now save this. Now finally it is attached to the request group. So this request group is attached to the responsibility purchasing responsibility so that we can directly we can run the we can run the concurrent program under the purchasing responsibility so i'm going to run the uh, report i'm going to run the report now so the concurrent program is xs underscore gn so you're asking parameter so i'm taking 30 click on Submit. No. So now find. So now what you will get tell me? So you will find the XML. XML. Take this XML file. Take this XML file. Copy this XML file. Copy this XML file in Notepad. And uh, remove these uh, icons unnecessary. It will give you some error. And remove this one. Here are some lines. Whatever the icons here are, try to remove this. Otherwise, it will give us an error. So now, do one thing save this document save this document as whatever you want the name but i'm taking the uh, name as dot xml dot xml so save it here so now so what we did now what is our responsibility now so we uploaded an XML publisher administrator responsibility. Publisher administrator responsibility. Now after we have created concurrent program. Concurrent program. So while creation of the concurrent program, we have taken executable executable xtodt exe. The predefined executable we have taken. So after creating concurrent program, we are attached to the request group. We are attached to the uh, request group, and finally, the request group we are attaching to the responsibility. Attaching to the request, attaching to the request group, request group to the response. Deleted. So what happened finally? 
the external file is generated. The external file is external file is generated. Okay. Now try to upload this. Try to upload this external file in template. Upload in template design. Template design. So before that upload in template design, create RTF template create rtf template rtf template so i'm going to create a, an rtf template going to the board. so in this in this so I'm try to enable add-ins here that's why i'm going to the add-ins here word add-ins go and attach choose uh, my computer see program files oracle and be a publisher be a file desktop forward choose this one this option okay now so now okay so now first load the data first load the data so we saved data data xml file right so that file we have to load so once after loading insert all fields if you want further particular fields also we can able to insert so for this uh, for this game demonstration i am inserting all fields so on top of this uh, you can write uh, employee detail uh, report employee detail report. Employee detail report. Place it in this one. So, no. Increase some font size. Employee detail report. So now try to run this locally. Whether it will be run or not, we'll check. Save it as a .rdf file. I'm taking. I'm taking xx underscore jm underscore 3 dot rtf rtf this is an rtf file we saved it check once whether it is coming or as it is coming so now the next step is the next step is the next step is we have created rtf template so now try to upload upload rtf file in xml publisher administrator 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 responsibility okay now so how we can go that administrator responsibility here only the template before that copy this name move into the templates create the template here data definition enter this data definition and the code xx xx gam3 this is a combined program short name so now i'm taking this as user defined name you can take whatever you want but i'm taking the best available name at which, at which responsibility we are running and purchasing responsibility we are running so default output type is pdf here okay now so now i am uploading the template here i am uploading the template the, what name we have given gan this one xs gan underscore the rtf this rtf i am going to upload so the language is English, the territory is uh, United United States. So click on apply. Click on apply and update it. So we we'll finish. We we'll finished our uploading RTF template. So now, now run the concurrent program. Run the concurrent program. Concurrent program the concurrent program where i'm going to run here i'm going to run the purchasing responsibility i'm going to run 
so which convenient program I'm going to run this one so you can take 10 hours here, no problem so now click on this submit and no. now check whether it will publish output or not yes it is publishing output this is the final output so in this way we are able to implement our report by using data template approach okay thank you everybody we'll see the next concept if you have any queries uh, please uh, mail me so that i can able to reply you with some email writing yes ramesh four okay. thank you bye